believe I must be one of those people who has a, a slow metabolism. I, I've tried every diet under the sun over the years. Nothing seems to have worked. And so I just must conclude that is because of my metabolism. We asked Debbie to have her metabolic rate checked. To me, as a complete non-scientist, I uh, understand it to be the rate at which uh, my body burns calories. Is that right? I think it is. Debbie is put under a ventilation hood 12 hours after her last meal. The researchers can now measure how fast her body burns up calories when it's at rest. And I looked at the data from today's um, experiment. It's almost spot on on, you know, what the predicted... What it should be. What it should be. So I haven't got a slow metabolism. No. So I can't even, can't even blame it on that anymore. No. <sighs> I'm afraid not. <laughs> I'm normal, which is good to hear in one way, but not in another. I carried around this myth all my life that I, I might have something called a slow metabolism. It sounded so romantic, and clearly that's, that's not the case uh, for me uh, and for many uh, large people. Um, it's just not true. We're normal. Debbie agreed to keep a food diary and record all the food she ate over a nine-day period. Aha. The first four days with a video camera at the end of each day and the second five days with a written food diary immediately after each meal. Oh. The idea is to find out if Debbie's eating more than the 2,000 calories a day recommended for the average woman of her age and height. Oh. But we're also going to spy on Debbie remotely. She's agreed to drink this special water, known as doubly labelled water. It's ingenious as it contains special isotope markers. By analysing her urine every day, Scientists can work out not only how many calories Debbie burns, but remarkably, how many calories she has actually eaten. Done. Hello, uh, it's day one. This morning we had massive fruit salad like every morning. Every night, Debbie must record on video what she's eaten during the day. This morning I had fruit salad. On day five, Debbie switches to a written diary. Instead of waiting to the end of the day, she must write down everything she eats immediately after every meal. At the end of the nine days, her food diary, video diary and urine samples are all sent to the Medical Research Council in Cambridge. By examining her urine, it's possible to calculate not only how many calories Debbie's burned in activity, but also how many calories she's actually eaten. In her diaries, Debbie records eating well under 2,000 calories a day. When you did your diary on the video for us, about 1,100 calories. That's how many you've recorded that you've eaten. Oh, bloody hell, yeah, OK. But remember that doubly labelled water. It reveals that Debbie, in fact, ate 3,000 calories a day. That's nearly two-thirds of all her calories Debbie either didn't realise she was eating or had forgotten. Now, we then gave Debbie a written diary, because research shows this can help us to be more thorough. But the results show she still forgot to record 43% of what she'd eaten. I underreported. Wow. Wow, that's quite shocking, isn't it?